hopefully start up with the end of the line tied with the uh, to keep the three strands from coming apart. Take our whipping thread, which is waxed, and measure about three feet of it. To do this whip, you want to get a loop around one of these strands. So start with start with this first strand and work it apart. Leave a good three inch or so tail on it. Now we come up. We want to work it around this strand over the top of it. So So you want to have this loop long enough to take it over the end of the strand. Then once you have that, you can start working wraps. Then we'll take our loop and we're going to run it over the end of its strand. We'll get rid of this little tie we have here. Spread these strands apart. Run it over the end of it. Then take the other end of the line and pull it down so that the thread lies along the edge of the strand. You can take that same end and run it up along the edge of the strand into the middle of the end to find the, the working end of that thread. And then we're just going to tie a square knot. And bury it into the bottom of the end of the strand. Take your knife or your scissors. In the ends. You can neaten the end of the line. You don't want to cut it too short. You don't want to cut into your thread. You have a nice end on it.